Hi, in this video, I will show you three tricks in Visio. So first one is how to add an equation into your drawing. The second one is that sometimes you have this type of shape with a control point on it, and you want to move the control point beyond what is available. So this one, for example, it can be only here, but I want to move this one outside so that I have a parallelogram that is like this shape. It's not possible right now. So I will show you how to do that. And the third one is how to make a shape that is a bit complicated programmatically. So for example, how to add all these small circles tangent to the bigger one using a programming language. Okay, let us start the first one and that is how to add equation. So this is very simple. You just make a Word document. You open it. You type your equation in that Word document. So insert equation, let's say y is equal to integral x dx, and this is from a to b. Okay, so you have your equation, you copy it, you right click, paste a special, Microsoft Word document, paste. Now what you notice is that this equation, the fonts are not there and basically you get something like this, which is not good. In the older version of Visio, it will work directly, but in the newer one, it creates something like this. So to fix it, you basically open it, double click on it, you select everything and remove the italic. And now close this document. So you have your equation. If you want to change the font size, you again open it, you change the font size, and you close it. So you have your equation, the size that you want. So this is the first one. Now we move on to the second one, and that is I want to change this control point, the limitation of the control point. So what you have to do is to right click on it, show shape sheet. Now there are information related to this shape available here the long document what you need is this control row and here you can notice that the command is to bound it to certain levels so we are going to remove this bound so double click remove the bound and also remove all this after the comma remove everything including the comma and then enter so in this case the control point will not have any bound and I can close this one so now you notice that, of course, inside we can go, but also it can go outside. So now you can have a parallelogram that is like this shape. You want to change, you can also do it. Change the size. So there are other shapes that also have this uh, control point, which basically you can play with them. All right, so now we're going to see the third one, and that is how to create a complicated object programmatically. So first I'm going to show you one command. So in Google, you can search for um how to create an oval shape in visio you know that i have already searched this before so this is you search it shape draw oval there is an example here which i want you copy it basically and let me i create a new visio file Okay, so what you have to do is to click on Developer, Visual Basic, Insert, Module, you can paste the code that you took it from the page of Visio, and let me I put this one for example 0, 0, I tell you what these are, this is 2, this is for example 4, so this one basically is the command to create an oval shape, this is the first point, this is the other point, and if you run it, you notice that this point is 0, 0, this is 2 and 4. Okay, now if you want to, this is in inch also, the numbers are in inch. Uh, so if I want to put the center of this at 0 point, I have to make this one, for example, minus 1, but the width, the other point becomes at 1, because everything is shifted. And this one becomes minus 2, and the other point becomes 2. So in this case, you notice that we will have 
a an oval shape here and if i want to make a circle let's say yeah i can make this for minus one and this one one so if we have a circle with radius of one okay so now that you know this command we are going to create that shape so first thing we do is that we open chat gpt and we ask chat gpt to write us a code can you write the code in Visio VBA to create 30 circle with radius of 2 tangent to the outside of a circle with radius of 20. Now, obviously, ChatGPT will provide a code, but it can have a lot of error, so you must be patient. And if you know a little bit of the programming language, then you can easily fix it. If you know nothing, then maybe it becomes difficult. So you copy the code, and again, you come go to this developer, Visual Basic, and then insert module. So you can paste it here. You notice that this one has an error. Now, I know the error, we have to remove these parentheses, but let's say you don't know it, so we ask ChatGPT that there is an error here. An error in this line. Okay, so I copy it again. Control A, delete, paste. Oh, it seems it's okay. You run the code. Now there are some other errors. Oh, I copy it again. And still an error in this. Okay, let's see if it can understand what to do. So we copy again, Control A, delete, paste. Okay, so it creates something for us. That is very likable. Now there is some problem because these are in inch. So we are going to change the sizes to millimeters so for example this is 25.4 this one also divided by 25.4 okay so let's run it again zoom in so now we have it here now i want to put the center of this everything to zero let's see if we can do that also uh so center x I think here when it creates, this is the large circle, center X. Yeah, here actually it gives the numbers. I think maybe it should be, maybe I should put these things at zero and zero. Let's try. Okay, so that is good. Now, of course, now I am just looking at the code and correcting it. But basically, using ChatGPT and uh, using the programming language, you can create a complicated shape, as you can see here. So let me I color this, for example, with uh, blue, this one with white, and then this one like this. Now you can actually copy and paste. Um, for example, this one, I want to make it 15 millimeter. And this one 15 and we know that the center is at 0 0 so I can just put it there
basically this is how you can create a little bit complicated shape you can actually group it then then you can move it around so you have a cable all right so that's all for this video see you next time bye